GOP lawmakers in the Assembly gave Speaker Robin Voss the green light to spend nearly $700,000 on his investigation into the November election. Capitol Bureau Chief A.J. Bayapur has reaction from Governor Evers and the questions still remaining about how far this investigation will go. GOP lawmakers on the Assembly's Committee on Organization vote along party lines Monday to approve spending as much as $680,000 to investigate last November's presidential election. It's a lot of money and it's a lot of wasted money. At an event touting President Biden's Build Back Better plan, Governor Evers calls the plan outrageous. They're going to be coming up with all sorts of things that just frankly aren't true. We had a fair election this last time Joe Biden is president and uh, the continued continued attack on our democracy is just absolutely ridiculous. Speaker Robin Voss is ordering the investigation, which he's putting in the hands of former conservative state Supreme Court Justice Michael Gableman. Voss's office did not respond to our messages Monday. In a newsletter he sent out over the weekend, Voss says, quote, we believe a cyber forensic audit is necessary to ensure issues did not happen in 2020. We have allocated additional resources to Justice Gableman to ensure this investigation gets to the truth. The vote comes after Voss went to Alabama to meet with former President Trump, something else Evers criticized Monday. Things changed a bit when, uh, when Robin Voss went down and visited Donald Trump and they take, got that nice picture on the plane. Uh, apparently they're all drinking the... Uh, the, the Kool-Aid. Voss last week was asked by our sister station in Milwaukee if he believes the election was corrupt. I would not use the word corrupt. Uh, I don't believe that. Now, were some of the practices um, in individual parts of the state bordering on that? Yeah. Well, Speaker Voss has not specified what exactly he means by a cyber forensic audit. We do know he has said he will not sign the subpoenas issued by Representative Janelle Branch in ordering the Brown and Milwaukee County clerks to turn over voting machines. At the moment, it is unclear to what extent his investigation will now seek access to ballots and voting equipment.